All right. I'm going to go grab some breakfast, and I will be back in like five minutes. And then we will do our uh, daily GLS L shader.
good morning. Again. Alright. Let's do our daily shader. This was yesterday's, this was devious too. Did I just end up modifying Devious, or did I end up doing Materialization? I think I just called it... yeah, I called it Materialization. Okay. Devious 2. So I was saying before, I was trying to do with this with cubes and voxels but I don't think it's going to work the way I want it to. I think I'm just going to do a surface. A, like, bumpy surface. Hmm. So we'll try that. I'm just going to erase all this stuff from the shader before. straight down. And we're not going to do 300 iterations anymore. Alright. So do a flat plane. to this and see if this gets the effect I'm looking for. straight up. There we go. You know what, let's have it look um, actually straight across. There we go. So we get to see the reflection. Let's try it with the distortion. much distortion is going to be. distance a little bit down, so it's not distorted. Now let's try pointing it straight down. That's a 
Oh, oops, I did that before. Alright, so I think the sine and cosine parts will average out to be, um... Oh, you can see it reflecting there. I think it should average out to create a roughness effect. I feel like the waves need to be a bit more, I'm not sure. Try zooming in and out. Here is I'm going to zoom the camera out. On a curve. But it goes fast at the parts that I want it to go fast on. Yep, like that. And then we're going to blur out the frame there. Or we're going to blur the frames with some jitter. Do some anti-aliasing. You know what? I don't think this has the effect. I don't think the waves are big enough. Oh yeah, that has the effect. Do anti-aliasing here. turn the epsilon up here because it isn't really going to matter. Ooh yeah. Alright, and then we average out the frames there. So we're going to do the pixel hash.
Alright, now we blend frames. Oh, it's nearly working. Oh my god. I think we just need to make it maybe slower. Oh, that's so close. Oh, I think the distance function is fine now. I think it's just the epsilon. Yeah. Alright, so I may need to increase the, uh, the epsilon. I need some way of scaling this as it gets closer to the surface. There we go, that seems to work kind of nicely. Nah, actually, that's still got deformities. I maybe should find a way to do this without, um... Maybe just repeating spheres. Maybe just a row of repeating spheres. Let me try that, hold on.
Oh my god, I had the mic on mute. Well, at least the screen isn't black. It's better than that. Alright. I'm gonna go get some water. I'll be right back. Good morning, Morme. This is this materialization shader I've been meaning to show for a while. How small details average out to create things like a rough surface. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna create this little geometry that shifts between lots of spheres and little spheres, and it should show. Uh, show off roughness. We're going to do that right now. It's so cool. It actually does match up to um, Okay, so I'm just thinking how am I gonna... This function is basically gonna turn into um, floor e.x uh, Actually, we're gonna wanna split this um, hmm. I almost think I want to do a little border between them. I'm not sure though. So we're going to do p.x. I guess we'll do absolute value as well. Oh, and I'm going to have to do this before we modulo it. Yesterday I found fresh demos to make a 3D animation from 2D webcam capture using AI learning. It's from 3D games. Oh man, I've seen a bunch of stuff like that. Have you seen uh, Open Pose? I've been watching Open Pose for a while. It's free by Intel. Uh, okay, this is really interesting. Is this not Intel's? Oh no, this is Intel's, I think.
Let's go an API for everything. Python, C++. Not bad. From what I've seen, though, uh, it's like the the main thing is the single person tracking, where you calibrate it to a single to people. But I know, yeah, if you're doing if you're recording animations for, um, hold on, has, has someone made? 3D model animation recording. So, pipeline, yeah. Is an open closed based application converter. Oh, yeah, okay, so this is for Miku and Anisius. Miku Miku Dance. Okay. Yeah, so people have done that. That's so cool. Oh man, I wonder. Does it actually use uh, video depth prediction? Because I thought video depth prediction was super unpredictable. Like, you can get some horribly wrong depth predictions. It's a reason why the humans have two eyes and not we're not cyclopses and have one eye and then our brain tries to detect depth. But yeah, that's the interesting thing about poses, is when you know the shape, when you know it's a human that has four li well, yeah, when you basically know the geometry, you can do things like inverse kinematics and lower the depth predictions to way less states. As I saw, a very correct depth prediction. But that's the thing, is like in an example video where they've probably trained it and calibrated it to the specific people in the video, it's a lot different than like how it works just out of the box. Oh yeah, I forgot the scale of this. I forgot this zooms out to like 2,000 units. There you can kind of see the bands. Ah, so I'm gonna need, I think I'm going to need to do how. Because it's uh, changes much faster. During a game like Death Stranding, where a whole bunch of 3D animations can now be done just sitting at home using a single webcam. Yep. Well. Uh, a lot of that is facial capture, which I believe isn't as accurate. I am confused. Is 
3D animator going to be first programming profession to be dead? But 3D animators aren't programmers. This is weird, it's like too subtle. Oh, there we go. I still want to make it more noticeable bands. So it doesn't smooth out so much. Dude, what is... Hold on. YouTube keeps stopping the music every damn hour. Oh my god. There are three basic types, Mr. Pizer. animation almost the same as you do now, set up curves and smooth cycles. Yeah, but that's not necessarily programming. YouTube did that when videos on other tab, Chrome does support with tab hidden. Um, my tab isn't hidden though. That's actually specifically why I keep my uh, video in its own little browser window. I mean, it's. I don't think it reports that. As far as I'm aware, there's no API for window focused. But who knows, there might be a JavaScript API for that now. I know about the tab visibility API, but as far as I'm aware, that doesn't say if the window's focused. And I'm, use, I'm not even using Chrome, I'm using Firefox. And you can see the bands there, but it's not changing fast enough. Hmm. Applying the curve here before the flooring.
Hmm. So I don't, I actually don't think POW might work for a cap, for the curve I'm looking for here. Let me try this. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm just gonna not mess with the curve here. I'm just gonna do those plain bands like this, because this isn't bad. And then right there, it's actually gonna have widescreen and zoom out. I'm almost thinking I should color the spheres differently so that you can see the materials better. So this is the like basic exact effect I was looking for. Now I just want to do type of um, camera animation. Or maybe zooms by looking at all of them. I could do try doing something like look at. just do it with position and rotation like lurk the camera yaw and pitch I think that would be the easiest way Spheres. So, yeah, I think I'm going to lurk between the positions. It's like I'm going to create one, it's like I think I'm gonna do I should I should do this one part at a time, so we'll just start with simple lurping to start. Mix between one camera position and the other. We need to move really far, really fast. So this is the thing. Um, I kinda wanna do like a smooth mix or I don't know how to explain it, where it speeds up on one end and slows down on the other.
Hold on, I'm pretty sure I actually know how to write this function. Alright, so I want this to go... Um, So what would alert look like where it speeds up the movement? So it sits here, and it moves there. I think it might actually look something like a sigmoid. Oh, that's starting to do it. Ooh, that's similar. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so that is what I'm looking for. less time at the end than that. I think we need to do... Yeah, correct it like that. There we go. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, I think that's gonna do it. This is the hard part. What I ideally want to do is work between these sections. So... The last lerp target is the next. I think, yeah, so basically what I want to do is a progressive lerp. I've never done something like this before. Take four seconds to lurk. This would be FLT. This is every 400, so times 400.
Alright, now that should lurk between them. Minus people expecting... Oh, oops. This just moves along them. Now we want to do that fast lerp. I feel like it's moving the wrong way. Oh god. I almost feel like it's moving so fast it looks like it's moving the other way. Yeah, it looks like it's moving the other way. Oh my god, it moves so fast. I think it's almost actually better if it blurs together. I wonder actually, does this sit? This might actually sit on... Um... Oh, so that's too much right here.
sick. I'm gonna need to do a custom function for this. Looks like it quickly moves between here. I actually think it's moving so fast that it looks like it's not moving is what's happening. Now what if we point the camera the other direction? Weird how it seems to like bounce back and forth. I just made this as big as possible. I made this skip two sections so it actually went quicker. It looks like it's bobbing back and forth, but it's just moving so fast. I actually wonder if I should just add a motion blur here just to stop that. Like that. It smooths it out. I think if I can make that turn on and off, To do like sign so 
actually no, more like triangle wave. And then with a huge curve so that it goes up straight away. There we go. I'm almost wondering if lurping would be better than this. I might try that. I also want it to be quicker, so maybe we'll make it two. Alright, yeah, and let's make this a custom movement function instead of ow. So first, we mix between... first part. Um, I think we're going to spend 20% of the time moving and 80% of the time looking. So if x smaller or if x so MT is going to be um, no, actually, we're just going to make this our own custom function. Or we're just going to write this here without making a custom function. Actually, no, yeah, it's easy. Easy this way. And then I can keep the old code. Alright, so if it's smaller than 0.4, then it's going to lurk between um, the first 10% or, yeah, we'll see, maybe lurk between 1%. So this is just going to be two parts. So yeah, we're going to spend 80% of it sitting and 20% of it moving. So I'm x minus 0.8 by 0.2. There we go. So now I think it's actually blurring too much. My cat wants pats.
Wait, where is this syntax error? The vertex shader? What? Unexpected. Or, oh, it undid that. Oh my god, I literally think it's moving so fast you can't see what's happening. Oh yeah, 60 FPS, you can tell way more. Okay. Perfect, there we go. So then after that, we're going to lurp up into the sky. Very happy with how this is looking. So like in this music, let's turn that up. Alright, so now we need to do the next part of the camera interpolation. Time swing the eight. There we go. Then right at the end of this, it's gonna start lurping up. Calculate what this will be after eight. Try that. Oh, I think that was a little bit under eight. Try six.
Hold on, why are those floating off the ground? position here of 2400. going to zoom out to point straight down. So we're going to rotate the camera. I wonder, I actually wonder if I could do this with an interpolation. So if we turn the Y into the X, Z, Yeah, lurping works, looks like, except I lurped it the wrong way. Uh, that might be wrong, actually. I think it is wrong. Yeah, okay. We're gonna we're gonna rotate it instead, so it's proper. It's rotating sideways. Hold on, wait, what? Uh, oh, I gotta clamp this. I gotta clamp that. One above one. Yeah, why is it? Why <laughs> is it going sideways? Let me think about this. Y, Z. I think this is supposed to be Y, X, maybe? Yeah, there we go. Maybe? Yeah, still needs to... Still needs to rotate a little bit more. And I could increase the size of the bands, I think, or maybe if instead we kept it like right there and made it more zoomed in. I don't think there's enough bands there. Damn. 
Yeah. Hmm. Maybe changing the scale here is what I need to do. What I was originally trying to do. Let's try and think about this. These get... Making this how to distributes them more here. So then point 0.5 should do the opposite. That's not bad, that's better. Maybe if the cap it curved a little bit. Uh, it's actually pretty close to what I want. there. Zooms out. So far I think this is, this is actually what I was going for. There's a little bit of uh, the noise. Not sure if that's actually a mar effect. Music are too loud, your mic's too low. Yeah, I just turned the music up to focus on this. It's basically done. All 
I'm almost wondering if I can change the random number generator a little bit to change the more uh, GIF. GIF? Did I win? <laughs> Okay, so the moir kind of naturally goes away here. That created the moir in a different area. I'm happier with that, though. I like this one because it renders at 60 FPS, too. In... how long does this whole animation take? Whole thing takes under 20 seconds, I guess. Um, 6 plus 8. 14 seconds. Eight forty, about right. Okay, <clears throat> we're gonna render out an animation of this now. Um, you know what? I might take the wallpaper before this. Hmm. Might take a wallpaper shot before this. The wallpaper shot for this, though, isn't going to be that great. It's going to be very similar to the DBS shot before this. kind of want to... Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to do the wallpaper. What kind of math do you get to use for this? This is shader code, so it's vector math. Lots of vec3... It's all decimal and float math. And, I mean, you use calculus, yeah, right here it calculates the normal using the derivative. I don't really think of it as calculus, though, it's just subtracting. Subtracting the difference from two things. Yeah, okay, let's take a uh, let's take a screenshot of this. Uh, I'm worried doing the I might do the video rendering after the stream again because we dropped a lot of frames when I did the ring the video rendering mid frame mid stream the other day. How do you calculate the derivative? Is there something special with the code? Or do you use power rules and all that? It's the discrete derivative uh, from the uh, precision of the epsilon, or yeah, it calculates the offset at the precision of this epsilon value, basically the precision value. So it's uh, yeah, it's like a discrete de derivative of a specific precision chosen. And then here the epsilon ends up being much smaller than the screen. Something like limits? Kind of. Technically, like all the functions here are everything we write, or we write ourselves, so. Oh, uh, well, if you want to get into limits, the distance function, since this uses distance function, it needs to be, uh, I think it's differentiable. 
not differentiable, but it needs to have a specific, um, I don't know what to call it, but the distance function has to have proper properties for Euclidean distance function. Like, imagine if you measured the distance between points that were one unit apart, but then the distance measured two, it would be completely broken. So it's more that you need to have the math correct or it just doesn't work. I don't know how to put it other than that. Alright, so what we're going to do here is we're going to render along until it zooms out. And then when it starts looking down, we're going to snap a screenshot of it. Hmm, this might be... might not work, actually. Yeah, this... <laughs> I don't think this is going to work. First of all, because... oh, that actually made it a lot better. Yeah, I think I'm just going to need to do an image of, like, repeating spheres, because it's going to be a blurred shot anywhere else. So I think I'm going to turn off the motion blur and anti-aliasing for this. Just take a nice clear shot. Yeah, just gonna do that. All right, and I'm gonna close that to give my GPU a break because we're gonna we're gonna render out the video in a second, and that's gonna really make it make it work. Alright, there. That's a nice screenshot. Infinite spheres. It is what it is. Hmm. Yeah, I'm really contemplating whether or not I want to do this on, on the stream. Yeah, you know what? I don't think it's going to take long to, uh, to render, so we are. Let me just make sure the view distance is far enough. Yeah, alright. Let's do this. So I think I calculated it was 840 frames, but I think we're going to do 900. Let's go. Alright, I apologize if this drops frames. Oh no, it's rendering. Oh shit, I did it at the wrong size. Hold on. I didn't <laughs> I didn't do it at the right resolution. Alright, so we're gonna Oh no. Man, I'm really bad at this. Alright, so we gotta stop it so it's at the correct frame. Here we go. Oh no, and there's no motion blur. Man, I I just keep messing this up. Oh man, okay. This time, this time's the one. I actually have a name for this one on the first day, materialization. All right. Now we're going to render it out. And I captured it from the wrong place again. So I need to stop it, and then we capture it. Here we go. Oh my god, and I didn't do the anti-aliasing. Holy shit. I'm trying to rush this. Stop it. Stop rushing it. No.
There we go, that should be good. Done capturing, there we go. All right, not bad. It's not as perfect as I would have liked, but nothing ever is. It does exactly what I want. It visualizes how materials are formed from sub-surface details that you can't see. Boom. I, I'm very happy with this one. It's not too complicated, or it's very simple. It's just a bunch of repeating spheres, but I think it shows something that's very complicated. Yeah. Um, that'll be it for me now for this morning. I'll be back later with another C library programming stream. Thank you for watching. I'll see you around. If you have any questions about any of these shaders, I'm always on Discord. Bye bye.